Today we're going to look at scanning techniques with PrimeScan. So when you open up PrimeScan software, if you are sending to your laboratory, you're in what's known as the Connect software. So in administration, this is where we fill in our prescription. So let's just say we're doing an impression. Let's say we're doing a full jaw scan, maybe for a, a night guard, maybe just for study models, whatever it might be. When you initiate the actual Prime Scan itself, it's obviously it is motion sensitive, right? So as soon as you pick up the Prime Scan, it'll turn on like it just did there for me. Now you can also use the foot pedal, which I've just done here. Now if you hold the foot pedal with your toe and you get that little star in the actual left hand side um, in the middle of the screen, that's actually putting it in pause mode. So what I like to do at that point is I get myself situated and I basically angle myself when I'm doing the lower jaw at a 45 degree angle capturing kind of occlusal lingual. And I'm not worried about capturing every little detail here at this point what I want is a clean smooth scan workflow right so I want to basically go occlusal uh, lingual at the same time all the way to the uh, anteriors when I'm doing the anteriors I'm strictly focusing on the lingual because of course the incisal edge is a little bit small and then I wrap around to the buckle now here what you're seeing me do is I'm rotating around and seeing where are some of the gaps rather than going over and over and over areas that I've already captured I want to go just back into the areas that I need to capture Okay, where I've missed data. If you keep on scanning over and over and over again, what you're doing is you're getting a million data points per second with the prime scan. So your file becomes very, very large. On average, we would want to see your full arch scans, upper, lower, and a byte, be smaller than one gigabyte ideally. Anytime that we see, you know, three to 10 gigabytes sometimes even, that's us knowing that you may, might be over scanning and going over areas that you've already captured. You want to try to avoid that. Try going just back to the areas that you have captured. Now, often people want to look at the right hand side of the screen uh, when they're scanning. I always recommend look at the left. That is essentially where that red box is. That is the center, the focal point of your actual scanner so that's where you know you're getting clean data now if you double click your actual foot pedal uh, and again I'm holding it here now with my toe I'm putting it in pause mode and again occlusal lingual on the upper jaw same thing I'm capturing now the lingual of the anteriors right around this allows you to almost do like a two-step scan strategy right which uh, again gives you a really clean fast workflow when it comes to capturing data uh, for the actual scanner as opposed to going over areas that you constantly are re-scanning and creating a much larger file we want it to be as smooth as possible so try not to zigzag try not to you know rotate uh, your wrist weird ways pause when you need to and again if you hold that foot pedal up you can be in pause mode with the actual scanner or just take the scanner completely out of the patient's mouth okay um, but I find that a lot of people want to capture over and over again the same area that they already captured and that's just leading to really large files that really do bog down your system what you have to remember is your scanner is connected to a, a, a physical PC so just like if we left our phones out in the blaring hot sun we get an overheat uh, notification on the phone same idea with your PC your PC can absolutely overheat from just working a little bit too hard when you're doing the buckle bite as soon as you get that green check mark you want to stop I really typically go just in that little area of the premolars and the molar. As soon as I get that check mark, I'm done. Now when I'm doing a full arch case, I do want to do that on both sides to make sure that no lateral shift happens. Okay, but again, when it comes to your scanning technique, if you are over scanning, even this section of the actual um, uh, software, it'll take a lot longer if you have really heavy files, right? So again, I highly recommend um, really short, fast scans where you can. So again, that occlusal lingual right across the arch or occlusal buckle if that feels more natural to you to start with again do whatever feels more natural to you as the operator but these scans should not take you more than you know upper lower bite uh no more than you know two to three minutes total right sometimes when i see people take 15 minutes plus i do realize that they're over scanning now always great to have good retraction right so you know use your gloved fingers retract where you can use a mirror retract where you can uh, ivoclar has those really great optra gates that retract the lips and cheeks away i personally am a big fan of those for scanning as well too so again just be prepared to capture as much clean data as possible in this step, you'll obviously see things like the set model axis step. You'll see things like the actual um, uh, marking margins if it is a crown case that, uh, you know, obviously has an actual margin to mark. But you'll also see if you're connected to DS, uh, DS Core that it's exporting data to DS Core as that last step. All right. So again, when it comes to scanning techniques, really easy to get great results, upper, lower, buckle, bite, in no more than two minutes to three minutes max, um, but just takes a little bit of practice. So I hope that you found this video useful to give you some tips and tricks for scanning.